What's up all you basement dwellers, Tickle My Shoes here, aka Fluffalole, also known as the Heck Day King when I play games such as EVE Online. Today we're going over the new sites for the upcoming patch that was released, which is the Upwell Culvert Research Facilities. They're up until June 29th. These sites allow us to obtain the blueprints and the materials needed to uh, build the new ships that CCP released. And if we go over here into the ship tree and just minimize this ship that I'm using at the moment, you can see right here. Here is the Skybreaker, and then we have the Cruiser Stormbreaker. This is the frigate vessel. And then here is the battleship called the Thunderchild. These are the Eden Calm new vessel ships that were released in the patch. So when we go back over here to what my build is, right here, just close this, you guys. So I'm using right now a Proteus. It is possible to run the sites in any battle cruiser, as I've seen every battle cruiser complete the sites. I'm sure also there has been faction cruisers and heavy cruisers that have finished it as well. Every T3 is able to complete it. In this footage right here, I'm going to show you guys what it is like in the sites. I'm actually having a lot of fun doing the sites as I got like four or five kills and then I got killed also completed like two or three sites stack and a bunch of the loot also I did find a skill book which is a skill book that I see that you need after specialization skill book which can add more range onto the ships and if anyone wants my opinion on the ships was I did hear once in a little article interview between a guy talking in South Korea about CCP uh, and the EVE game and uh, for Abyss and what they were talking about was they like how the game is and but they wanted to see more diversity in like fleet combat so these things we do not know how powerful they really are yet in the hands of a true FC but we can surely see that they are mobile artillery which you could set as a second wing so basically they do more damage when there's more targets, so if there's less targets and nothing to bounce, they wouldn't be viable. But by saying that, that allows us now in massive fleet fights, now we have the FC, then we have the DPS targets, which is the wing that follows the FC, who is anchoring up on him as he's calling targets. Then we have the smaller ships, where their classes with the little commanders, and then they're bushing and tackling. Then on top of that, we now have the Logi commanders, and on top of that, we will now have a support wing of what we could call mobile artillery. So all in all, Eve is going into a good place, as this seems to be working out pretty well so far. So we're going into here. I am using the Proteus in this one. And you guys can see right here that here's my build. It's just a basic PvP build. I made sure that I could fit the Covert Ops cloaking device. You could put an ancillary repper here, which if I did at one point, you'll see that we would have killed the Praxis because I had to warp out because I didn't have the ancillary one. But I'm also thinking PvE slash PvP, so we got all the tackle gear. We're not running on batteries and stability. We're running straight on cat, cat boosters to make sure that we can finish the site. But we don't really need the cat boosters. This is mainly just in case there's a player. Because the sites are, you guys, low sec and null sec only. I only completed my sites in low sec. I do not know if the spawns are different in null sec. And I do not know if the loot drops are higher ratio down there. But they seem pretty sweet so far is all I can say. So as you guys can see this one right here we have an explosive hardener and we just have the basic energized adaptive hardener because they do kinetic and thermal or, or they do uh mainly explosive damage and something else i can't remember the drawn ones but i know you want to do em and thermal damage to them so we're pretty much hitting them with thermal they don't really hurt us too bad I'm using double auxiliary nano pumps with the uh, explosive armor resistance right here. That way we just have like 70s and 60s base across the board. Because I am planning on this one to do the sites and to PvP, that is my main thing. Because I did learn that in the sites, you guys, you can actually cloak. You can kill everything and then cloak when the next spawn is coming in because the structure is destroyed so it doesn't claim that you have to be a certain distance away from it. All the objects in it count as dead. So basically you can cloak in there and stuff like that. So before we get into the video, you guys, I'm going to show you uh, 
when I was cloaking around and then I came up on one of the battle cruiser kills that I got there was four of them the NPCs those little bastards they st took some of the kills from me but what I do is I sit cloaked and I wait until all the NPCs grab the target and then I uncloak and creep on him so pretty much that it is a really fun sight and a really fun event to me most people might not see it that way as EVE Online everyone does it in different aspects and does different things in the game but I would suggest to you to go out and have some fun with the site as it's pretty freaking hilarious the sites themselves aren't that hard and you won't get that ace they do have a minor bit of difficulty in them if you're not fit properly and don't have basic understanding of what you should be doing in a site as everything does tend to web and scram you and point you and all that good stuff there is one neuter etc you guys will see what that's like but enough said with what we're discussing right here let me flip this clip over and you guys will see that the first clip you're going to see in the video is i'm going to throw it right into tackling the uh Amar battle cruiser, the Harbringer, which in the end we got blobbed in there. It was my own doing because I'm messing around. Remember in EVE Online, we can only kill ourselves. And uh, I was live streaming um, when I was doing this site, as I always try to do that once when the for new sites come out. And uh, it didn't catch my audio, so I have to do an audio overlay loop over it, which I don't usually do. I usually like to do all my audio live on my videos, so this one I do apologize for that. But there is some live audio in there where, where uh, Twitch didn't cut out the stuff. So but with all, all that said, I'm going to go in right here. So this is the Harbringer clip, and then after the, that, so basically this one we go in and I sit cloaky tackle the harbinger when I'm warping in he's there uncloak tackle him kill him go for the loot I get blobbed myself not paying attention and then the other part of the video was me and another one went for a praxis that I think was Cal I think was cruiser missile fit and I had to warp out twice the second time I warped out for safety but I do believe we could have killed him if I just held the field as my buddy was helping out in a vexer navy issue and then he never came back so we did the site on that one and then I completed another site so it was pretty fun all in all but with that said, I hope you guys do enjoy and you guys get out there and enjoy the sights for yourself and see what you can gather for the parts to the Eden Con ship and maybe you can be one of the first ones that can bank some of the money for the skill books that people will acquire for the ships or maybe even you as a player that is good at PvE and knows people that are good at building more industry, you guys can be one of the first people to get those ships onto the field. All right, with that said, let's get right into the clips here in the video. A few moments later. Okay, so we're going into the new site here now, you guys. Remembering that we are using Loki Proteus. There is a Harbringer here. I do believe we're going to be able to snag him. I am PvP fit, so I can engage any players that I find in here. I just did now. Good runes going on now. Pete. He's pointing me now. He was here to do the site, it looks like. I also tried earlier with a friend, and I'll send you guys some clips where we were engaging a Praxis inside the site. So it is good when you're doing this to make sure that if you're like me, a solo player, that you set whatever vessel that you enter the site in, make sure that you set it to a PvP fit. That's why we chose to use the Proteus here. He's got lasers in my army, so I should be in an orbit. It's my own bad. Now, turn this off. Let's move it up pretty quick here. Okay, now that he's down, go ahead and check his loot. Nothing too promising in there. And 
check this out. He's telling me he burnt out his guns. So as you guys can see, he was on the final wave. So what we managed to do was we can see if there is... Oh look, it's the wreck. This is the boss. So we can scoop that. I don't think he got it. We came here just in time. Let's check his kill mail while we head down to the vault here. Because you do have to look that up. So we'll see if he had anything in his cargo hold. Nope, so... Okay, so we got that. Incredible and all of them are in here. Oh no, I'm gonna get snagged. Yeah, I got snagged. Uh oh. There's a hawk on me. Don't think I'll be able to kill these guys. Free! Are coming in. Oh shit, look at all this stuff. Yeah, we should have warped the fuck out of here. Look at all this vagabond, hawk, sir, Mally, Loki. <laughs> Go ahead. Go ahead. Proteus is down. Oh yeah, we got the shit in our cargo hold. Blow the can up? Nope. Take the can! <laughs> A few moments later. So as you guys can see there, we did end up killing ourselves by not paying attention, but you know it is Eve, so here we go, here is where the audio was muted, we're going for this Praxis, he doesn't see us yet here, so we're going to uncloak and tackle him, my buddy is on his way in a VNI, so he should be landing shortly. I do believe he was hitting me with torpedoes. But you can see that we do catch a battleship in here. So using the cloaky vessel is a pretty good tactic when you're doing these sites for catching any players that aren't doing this with a group of friends or in a small gang ship. And you can see there's what we got from doing some of the sites. We got a blueprint, some of the cash. You'll see later in the video what we get out of doing the actual site. But I just wanted to show you guys what it is like hunting in these sites and what it is like to be killed and become the hunted in the sites. But remember in EVE Online to always pay attention and keep your D scans up and pay attention to local because you only you can kill yourself. As you guys can see there, we had to warp as he was getting the best of us, but we came back before him and we were cloaked and my buddy was in the system, so I waited to see if he would come back to the site, which he did, which again, I relayed to my buddy that he was here and that I went for the tackle. Here in this portion of the cliff right here, if I would have stayed on the field, the Vexor Navy issue coming in right now was the other player that I was coordinating with. And if I would have stayed on the field, I think we would have killed the practice here. But as I was running the sites trying to get some video footage and stuff like that, I was playing it a little more safer um, at this point than worrying about the kill, as I thought we would take him down in the end. But my buddy wasn't a properly Vexer or Navy issue fit. He was actually an old pause bashing fit where a lot of the things weren't even in existence on his ship anymore. <laughs> so he was just kind of hanging out launching and snipe drones he was there more for uh, moral support than anything but as you guys can see right here 
that cloaky tactic allows you to get any of those players. That's a really nice maneuver about the uh, new sites where you can just come into them cloaked and hang out. You could even think of tactics like where you could run the site with one person. You could have like two or three friends cloaked in the site not doing anything and if somebody came in you could guys could Samuel L. Jackson them and be like surprise mother beep you know. So all in all, it's pretty fun like that, and you can have a lot of fun doing the sites like this. Here's the part right here where I think I shouldn't have warped. As you can see, I kind of had my reps matching his volley, and he was breaking, but I warped because I wanted to play it a little safe there. But I think I should have stayed. He never came back, so you guys can see there's the loot right there that we got from doing the sites. That guy never came back. I do believe we ended up finishing his site. And all in all, I think that's what it was right there. You can see the new skill book. So from stealing his site and completing the site that you guys are about to see, this is basically the loot that we got. We got a bunch of guns and um, upgrade modules for the low slot. We got the frigate blueprint. All of these were in the vault cache that you guys will see the book as well. And then you can see that sentient scan air array that thing was from the end boss so sometimes you can get 30 to 60 million from the end boss plus a bunch of stuff and then you can go and open the vault and also get a bunch of stuff so all in all it's pretty good so i'm going to clip right into the video here and you guys can see what it is like in the site a few moments later Alright, so right here you guys can see that we are in the new site, and when you're in the new site you want to make sure to kill all the small stuff first, which are the smaller little frigate sized vessels because they do point and scram and web you, I think they long point and web you actually, as there is a guy pointing us right now. When you're in the Proteus you do have to get in range with the guns, and also one thing that I did notice on these sites you guys that when you're running them like this if you're using any ship that has drones whether they're small drones or big drones every time the next wave comes make sure you pull your drones in and then relaunch them because the NPCs seem to heavily aggro the drones as it might tell me that the drone vessels are the strongest vessels to complete these sites and to make diversity in the sites CCP made for the first time where any battle cruiser, any pretty sure heavy cruiser, any T3 cruiser, all of the battleships can complete the sites which is I think is an A plus in my books allowing more ship diversity but seeing that the uh, way the NPCs react to the drones tell me that some of the drone boats might be the most powerful ships to complete the sites in it and if you guys are sub to my channel you can see in the upcoming videos we will be completing the sites in a whole variety of ships as I have a lot of videos that I made about the sites and all different kinds of ways and tactics you can have fun for the next 10 days or until the 29th so that's two weeks basically of just running running around getting a lot of iskies and playing around with actual players other than that it's pretty fun make sure to always you guys take advantage of eve online's new content whether sometimes it's bad content and sometimes the content's good whether it has a bug all that juicy stuff like that because you know we have been playing the game for a long time this is its 17th year so anything new and fresh to the game in eve online you at least want to say that you tried it once and not kept doing the same thing that you've been doing with over and over again that is if you're an elder player to newer players this is probably really fun as I'm tending to like it pretty pretty good so far I do believe right here when you kill the wave you guys I think there is five waves to this site and then the final wave is just a, a battleship and it newts remember that it newts really heavily against your ships so have capacitator warfare abilities to negate the nuding or make sure that you can just withstand one super heavy newt it feels like it's a bissell or something like that it's like a newt with a buff is what i could say it feels like so i don't seem to have that much difficulty doing it in the proteus when i'm using um, 
this ship right here because I have just a cap booster and all I put in it is maybe 800s. So you guys can see right here. But the downfall to the Proteus is I do have to get really close and use the guns. But once you're in gun range, you start melting them pretty good. Yeah, any of the T3s will be viable for stuff like this. Also, long range is probably really viable as well. Make sure you guys keep your D scans up when you're doing this and don't get caught like good old Tickle did. <laughs> When I was doing this with mine, I was setting it to uh, like 5,000 range or something just so I could get really good hits. And I was making sure to keep track of my capacitator and not to rep too much because I didn't know as in this video it was the first time I was doing the site. I didn't actually know how hard they would be, what I was coming across. I just always make sure that I go for it 100% without knowing anything. And I keep that wonder effect in there. So I wanted to keep my cap charges just in case things get really hairy. Now here is the really interesting part about the sites where you can't do this in a lot of other sites that I've seen in EVE Online. At that moment before the ships warped in right there, I could have cloaked up and stayed cloaked. As an example, I could clear all of these waves and... You guys can see right here, here's the second wave. See the small ones right away, they web and scram us, so you want to get on those guys and kill them. And then there's another one that gets, them, that gets them. But there is a thing that I've seen, you guys, where when you're doing these sites, you could do kill all of the waves and then leave that nice, juicy mint battleship target as the last wave. And when people come here or are scanning, if they have ships on the thing, they will see him on their on their uh, D scan and stuff like that if they're scanning the ship. Or when they come here, they'll see him and they'll want to go for it right away because they know killing him will unlock the cloaked bolt, which has even more treasure and, and possible escalation. So remember you guys, for the first time that I have been playing events and things that they released in EVE Online, I have never seen an event that escalated into an escalation i have not gotten the escalation yet if any of you guys have gotten the escalation please feel free down in the comments below to uh tell us a little about it and i will be working on getting the escalation i might even have one by the time this video is out as this is a little old recorded since i probably have continued to be playing so you can remember, so you can see, look, they're nuding you. That one guy, the type A, he starts nuding you. And then you get the webs and the points from everything else. So there is a lot of points in here. I think that when you're a solo player and you're looking at it, telling yourself that, like, yeah, there's a lot of things in here pointing me. But you guys have to remember that EVE Online is a multiplayer game. So they expect you to be playing with at least one or two other people, you know, like your friends or you made friends or you're playing with somebody. So that's why you see a lot of points. It's not, there's a lot of points stacked on one guy. I think they're trying to tackle multiple people, which is another cool aspect of it because you would have all these ships that are pointing multiple people, you know, and then if another squad of guys came in, they can't get away. They have to actually fight. So it's kind of funny like that. You can literally small gangs might engage small gangs or possibly already have because of the mechanics of the site i actually like these sites they bring a lot of diversity to what you can and can't do and they allow all aspects of ships all aspects of factions even the cloaky players this would be like a blops player's wet dream these sites to just sit around and plot people all the time i know you can't do the sino part in a lot of parts, but you can, you still used your blinged out cloaky vessel and just shrek some nerd faces for a little, a little laughter, a little GG, you know. So we'll finish up this guy, see with the Proteus, I gotta get right up in there. But when you are, it's good that you have the high DPS because this one, when I overheat my void, it's using like 700, see we hit him for 1200 there, thousand, so I like that part of it. So when you're on the heavier, bigger ships, it doesn't take as long to kill. But it is a higher, harder, well, I guess with the Proteus, you could say, because of the application aspect, you have to get in there and apply the guns that it would take a little more time longer than some of the other T3 ships you could do it in, or I'm sure some of the other vessels that you could do it in. But all in all, it's a solid ship as you can use the covert cloaking device. You can warp around cloaked, you can move around cloaked, cloaked really quickly. 
So because of that aspect and the fact that these sites are PVE slash PVP, I do like the idea that the T3s are, in my opinion, possibly king for these sites. As if you had a tackler or a good long pointer, you and a couple of your T3 buddies become like gods. So you guys see how I cloaked up right there and they don't even see me? So if a player was coming right there, he wouldn't even know I'm sitting in the site. <laughs> he would be, he would move to kill these things. So when you get to that one where you, you leave the end boss and just cloak up before he comes... You can bait a lot of people into killing these sites. Maybe if you don't warp away from the site, here's another thing that I haven't even tried, you guys. Here's another way of thinking. So when you're doing the site, look, look, make sure you kill the small ones again, you guys, because they do, they will scram me and stuff. Keep a point, keep an eye on my overview and teach your guys the cells when you do watch my videos. But next time you do see my things, I do not like audio recording pre-recordings i do like to do all my audios live to my videos so you can see like there's three guys right there and then that one guy needs you like that but you could i'm thinking something that i've never tried and i might try it later and if one of you tries it before me feel free to smash it down in the comments below if it worked so you know when you clear the site you guys will see at the end here i think this is wave three but when you clear the site um, and you kill the final end boss, a vault, like a special loot vault, it uncloaks and appears. It's, you can't see it until that guy dies because it's all cloaked up. So I'm wondering if, because the upwell site, it still says it on the overview when that vault is there. So I'm wondering if you could kill everything and leave the vault there and then just cloak up and somebody warps there and sees the vault and then they their their natural instinct is going to be like ooh treasure and they got to go for it right and then you just on cloak grab them maybe you're there even with your buddies stuff like that so i like the aspect of thinking of things like that so i might try that later if one of you guys tries it please do let me know how it went and do let me know if the site despawns over time from the overview and you're just hovering there in space and nobody else can see you but if it stays on the overview that is another good tactic for the cloaky style players like the stratios anything that is cloaky and anything to do with patience and ice fishing that is your main achievement right there when it comes to these new sites i think that was wave three you guys right i do believe it was yeah. let's finish this guy up right here the other guys disrupt tracking disrupting us too i think so you can see they do do a lot of crafting they aced my drones because uh, I wasn't paying attention, realizing that each wave that comes when you don't have your drones, and they're highly aggro towards the drones, like incredibly aggro. More aggro than I think they should be. Because a newer player is going to just be shift r the whole time, shift r the whole time. He's not going to be applying damage. You might as well just like burn away really fast in a micro warp drive engine and just like drop snipe drones or something. This guy's going to be doing pretty good. But so far, you guys can see that the sites aren't that hard. They're actually pretty fairly balanced. And, you know, there was a thing when this is day two. And, yeah, on the first day, there was a thing where the sites weren't spawning like they should. They were spawning in 0.0, .0 systems is what players were telling me that were actually completing the sites. But this is day two. So usually there's some kind of bad balancing with the NPCs, but this one seems to be pretty clean because do remember you guys that we always, in the end, use certain ships to do the sites and then there's certain ships that are the best at everything. But for the first time in EVE Online's event history, they finally fucking did it. So let's give them a fucking good old applause. <laughs> throw them right there because for the first time we actually can use any ship and complete the site i think from t3 cruiser i and heavy cruiser possibly even faction cruiser up to every battle cruiser and every battleship so that is pretty nice that allows diversity in small gangs allows new people to meet other newer players stuff like that so here you guys can see here is the final wave and he is just a battleship 
Loki hurts too bad, but you can see they do th they do kinetic and thermal damage. I think thermal is their main damage. And then remember, you guys, that this guy can drop sentient faction loot, and he drops also um, the facility loot, which is like the um, can can stuff like that. Some the stuff that you get from doing the more dudes legion sites, if you guys know what I mean. There's besieged covert operational sites in Losec. And if you do those, you get this uh, stuff that looks like a barrel. You can get it from this guy. It's worth quite a bit of money. But as you can see, watch my cap right here. You can see, boom, right there. He's hitting us with a super heavy newt that I think is more juiced up than normal. That was like 300 and something gigajoules right there. And it, it hits really quick. He's going to come in here with another one. There it is right there. So if you're not resistant to this incapacitate or warfare, or you don't have a friend there that's giving you some cap power, and you don't like cap boosters, you might be in trouble. So don't get too close to him. Also remember, you guys, that when it comes to newts in EVE Online, the further you are away from them, the less looting they will do. So maybe, possibly, if you like the snipey, long-range style of playing, you can come here and just be like, bzz, bzz, and just bap him down, you know, a couple zap zaps. Let's just watch him right here. We are hitting with some pretty good volleys. I saved all my heat on my gun. He went in, at least he tried to. I didn't want to use too many cap charges in case players came in, as in my world I never really was a solo player anymore. All in all, it's pretty good. He's going down right here. So remember to watch my overview, guys, because I'm not turning the camera angle at this time to see the thing because I did not know. But the moment that he dies, an actual vault unplugs over by the destroyed station, and then you go and blow that up, and inside that will have the actual possible loot of the blueprints for all of the EvenCon ships, and there's even blueprints in there for the modules, and there was also um, materials that you need for the ships. Now, I don't know if you were to come here and salvage these ships, if that counts as the salvage in these ships counts as the Eden Con materials that you would be needed, or if this just gives you the basic drone salvage. But all in all, this guy's going down. And as you can see, we are using our capacitator as much as possible. So we want to get the biggest juice that we can out of it all. So here we go. He's going down and we're going to watch the overview there see that the vault is going to appear. Boom, there it is right there. So you guys can see it's that weird funky little square thing. So right there we got 10 million from him. You can see right there. And as a loot payout they pay, paid me like 9 to 10 million isk or something for all the kills that I got. And then right there, so I just noticed it and I'm like, ooh, what's this juicy little thing? I deployed the vault. And I'm in my mind, I'm like, yeah, let's go blow that up. <laughs> so it's pretty good like that. Let's head over to that thing and blow that. Remember, I'm just an afterburner fit. My only true advice I would give to anyone is don't come to this site in an afterburner unless you choose to just sit there and don't move. This seems to be truly a micro warp drive fit site as it was designed to be a null sec site as well, where we all know in null sec the micro warp drive is king. Without it, you're pretty much skunked in a lot of aspects. That don't get me wrong, the afterburner is good as well in a lot of things, but the MWD is what we need most in the world in Nilsec. That's just how the game has evolved. So as you can see, there's our payout right there, 9 point whatever million for the site. Here's the vault that's going down right here. I'm double checking right now to make sure that it's the payout for the site, and then it is, yep, correct. So remember, even blowing up the vault gives other players in more time, as you can hear the boom boom effect of me continuously scanning to make sure anyone's coming or not. I could at any moment cloak up because nothing is targeting me, so always remember that when you have the cloaking device. So when that goes down, you can go over here and loot the cargo box. Make sure you have the collidable structure set on your overview, or you may not see the vault upon destruction of the final ship. And you can see right here we got a bunch of the resources and we've got the frigate BPC and we got a weapon BPC and a weapon upgrade BPC I do believe. 
So all in all, the site is pretty good right there. We would have banked about a hundred million isk on that. So we've had a lot of fun on this video. We got four kills, which was pretty sweet. We lost a Proteus. We completed four sites. We banked a pretty fair chunk of isk. We ended up with actually a really rare skill book, which somebody ended up giving me a lot of isk for. So all in all, it was pretty fun. Please do like and subscribe, you guys, and I will catch you guys in the next one. Peace.